Next question coming in here is from W Coast 408. Mitchell Renz, would you take Crabtree back? Would I take Michael Crabtree back? Sure, but it's also going to come with the right price. Now, I understand what he did in 2018. It was okay, right? Like 54 catches, three touchdowns, 11.2 yards per catch, and 607 yards. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at what he did in 2017 because I personally think that's the better thing to look at. Now, again, the stats don't jump off the page, but eight touchdowns, I think we can all agree that he was a reliable option for Derek Carr and for that offense. So you guys know this show isn't about me. It's about all y'all. Should the Raiders sign Michael Crabtree? I want you to type Y for yes or type N for no. I'm going to let you guys get some of those comments flowing in. Let's see what you guys have to say and see what uh, see who's saying yes, see who's saying no. I got Raider Steve. He's saying Y. Jack Napier saying tuck rule, tuck that, like the reference. Mean519 saying no. Jack Napier saying NN. Yep, got you the first time. Um, and then Cole Best, best answer there is. We don't want crabs. You and me both, my man. You and me both. Bobby Moncada. Interesting picture, but I'm into it. I'm glad you have one. Do you think this year's Derek Carr has to prove to the Raiders organization that he is their quarterback for the long run? This is a really interesting question. And to be honest, I would probably give this one for Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And when I look at Carr's last four years, okay, 2018, he got ripped on a lot. But again, a career high in yards. 19 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Now 2017, 2016, 2015, we want the Derek Carr back in 2016 and 2015. That's the Derek Carr that I want to see back. However, I think as a man and as a quarterback, Derek Carr grew more in 2018 than he's ever have. And why do I say that? Because of the receivers, the offensive line issues, everything that's going on. It's really hard to deal with. So is Derek Carr, is this Derek Carr's prove it year? I want to know from everybody watching. I want you to type four for believe it baby or type zero for tuck rule, tuck that let me know let me know in the comment section is this Derek Carr's prove it year four for believe it baby zero for tuck rule tuck that Tony Chambers what's going on my man can we get yourself a picture do you think the Raiders should keep pick number four well if you're a loyal watcher which I hope you are so and if you're not subscribe youtube.com slash Raiders report I think that the Raiders personally should trade back the pick and I'm a believer that the Raiders could get more picks and at the end of the day I think the Raiders need to have more picks so do I think the Raiders should keep pick four? If you can tell me you're going to give me another two picks in the first round, potentially, uh, no, I think they should get rid of it because I'm worried Josh Allen, Quinn Williams, or Nick Bosa, they're not going to be there at pick four. All right, what else we got? We got Nate, Raider Nation, Ruben. You guys are all going four. Matthew, appreciate it. See a lot of fours. Taco Sore. Now, this is a sick dinosaur. I absolutely love dinosaurs. I have all the Jurassic World, Jurassic Parks, name them. Taco Sore. I'm all about it. This is one that I don't think will ever go extinct. Would it be possible slash best if our best interest to draft TJ Hawkinson if we choose to not re to re-sign Jared Cook? Uh, Jared Cook is my top player that the Raiders, I personally think, need to re-sign in free agency. Again, when you lead the team with 196 receiving yards, when you lead the team with 68 receptions, he's Derek Carr's safety blanket. And if you need to figure out if Derek Carr's your quarterback or not, guess what you need to do? You need to bring back your safety blanket. So I like TJ Hawkinson. He's a talented player. And heck, when I asked Tom, give me your top five big board, he actually had TJ Hawkinson as a top five player in the NFL draft. And I respect Tom's opinion. And from what I see from Iowa, man, it's looking a lot like Iowa's, you know, like tight end you. So here's Tom's big board. Nick Bosa, Quinn Williams, Josh Allen, Ed Oliver. And then Hawkinson sitting there at number five. And if Tom's this high on Hawkinson and they decide to move on from Jared Cook, maybe if they really want a tight end, they can go out and get a young player like TJ Hawkinson. Because I know you're not going to like what I'm about to say. George Kittle looked pretty freaking good this past year. <laughs> All right, shout out to another super chat here. Uh, Michael Littlejohn, or Matthew Littlejohn. I want to say uh, thanks to the super chat. And uh, much appreciated. $5. Uh, would you shower with Amari Cooper for a $100 super chat? Uh, somebody hit up Amari. I don't know. Amari, let me know. All right, I want to give us some shout-outs on more, some Raider Nation mailbags. Morris Kong, pictures, guys. Come on, get with it. Should we sign Deshaun Jackson? Uh, unless that's his evil twin brother, I would rather sign Deshaun Jackson. If he hits free agency, uh, I personally believe that Deshaun Jackson will hit free agency. Now, he's got a $10 million 
salary that isn't fully guaranteed and personally I think Deshaun would actually fit the offense pretty well with Bruce Arians in the Buccaneers because Bruce Arians really likes to uh, chuck it down the field but I think he's likely going to get cut with 32 years old he's entering age or entering 2019 season Mike Mayock has stated they want to add speed around Derek Carr I understand Deshaun Jackson's getting up there in age but uh, at the end of the day He's definitely still got a lot of speed. But uh, Deshaun Jackson, Oakland, a little bit of a diva. Maybe that's if we're not trying to go out and get Antonio Brown. I'll tell you what, Antonio Brown, Deshaun Jackson, you can almost bet your freaking bottom dollar that we're going to be on hard knocks then. I'm also betting on a whole bunch of money on BetDSI. If you guys like betting on Raiders games, NFL games, you want to bet on March Madness, there's one place to do it. That's at BetDSI. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Use my promo code Raiders120 for 120% deposit bonus. You want to know how I got this jersey? I went to BetDSI. I went to chatsports.com slash bet. I used promo code Raiders120, and I got a Raiders jersey. Use it. Go Raider Nation. Joseph, what's going on? All right, $5 super chat. Whoa, shit, I didn't even see that one come in. That's lit. All right, um, just because I want to be on it again, should we use a late first for a tight end as well as re-sign Cook? This is an interesting idea, and I'm going to say like a month ago, Tom was talking to me about, you know, Noah Fant, another really good tight end out of Iowa. So if maybe we miss on TJ Hawkinson, you can re-sign Jared Cook. I've also seen some rumors out there that maybe Jared Cook was just extra motivated this year because, well, it was a get-paid kind of year, and sometimes we see that from players. So I really like Noah Fant. I really like TJ Hawkinson. If maybe you're going to target Noah Fant at pick 27, 24, I don't necessarily totally hate it. Joseph, again, thanks for the super chat, brother. Brittany, oh, we got a girl on the show. Wes, what's, what's up? Landon Collins or Earl Thomas, who would be better to acquire in free agency? This is a really good question, high quality question. I like Earl Thomas, I like Landon Collins, and I know I already kind of gave it away earlier in the show, but Earl Thomas is a really talented player. So I wanted to kind of show you guys their stats since 2015. So this is right when Landon Collins first came into the NFL. Games played. Now, I get it. Earl Thomas missed a whole bunch of games this past season. But in terms of production, like, Landon Collins has about has twice as many tackles, more pass breakups, sure less INTs and the same amount of touchdowns. But in terms of players who are getting ready to hit, hit their peak, man, Landon Collins is absolutely special. And as much as I love Earl Thomas, I'm going to ask you a question right now. Who's a better fit for the Raiders, Earl Thomas or Landon Collins? I want you to type ET for Earl Thomas or LC for Landon Collins. I'm going to type my LC because I think Landon Collins is a really dynamic player. And if the Giants let him go, they're dumb. <laughs> like, if the Giants do not bring back Landon Collins, he's one of the best young defenders in the NFL who's a Swiss Army knife. I'm telling you right now, you put him in silver and black, you have Carl Joseph, you have Landon Collins, Gary on Conley, maybe add another cornerback in the draft. Dude. That's the secondary that's going to absolutely flip this Raiders defense around. Nicholas, I got one coming in from Nicholas. Will the Raiders pursue C.J. Mosley and Kawan Alexander? Uh, will they pursue them? Sure. I think the Raiders are definitely going to be one of the most active teams in free agency because I believe they have the six most money in cap space, and they got a lot of holes to fill. And I know I've mentioned C.J. Mosley a bunch on my show before, but I literally, literally think – that Mosley could be the captain of the Raiders' defense. And he's an all-pro linebacker since entering the league in 2014, but he is going to command top dollar. And the fact that the Raiders have some money, and I've also seen Paul Gunther come out and say that he doesn't know if he wants to invest in a linebacker super high in the draft. Well, maybe he's looking at C.J. Mosley, but then there's also Quan Alexander, right? Like, I think Quan Alexander, from a talent standpoint, is super talented. The only issue is he's coming off a torn ACL, and reportedly, before the injury, he wanted $10 million. And I can almost guarantee you, Quan, uh, you're not going to get $10 million a year anymore. So I think for him, he believes in himself. He's a talented player. Maybe he takes a one-year prove-it deal. But uh, do I think they're both going to pursue them? Yes. Do I think in terms of who's more likely to be a Raider next year? Guess what? I'm going to ask you. Better fit for the Raiders. I want you to type M for Mosley or type A for Alexander. If you're going to type A for Alexander, give me the reason why. If you're going to type M for Mosley, give me the reason why. I see Jay Dizzle. He's saying Mosley. Kevin M. He's saying Mosley. 
Mean519, Mosley. Uh, from what it looks like, as soon as I start talking, you guys throw in the comments. I love it. Cortez, he's saying, uh, Quan, I get it. Who else we got? Ruben's going Quan. Adam's going Mosley. I love the interaction, guys. Keep it flowing in the comments section. Let's see what you guys uh, got. Can we get the 300 watchers? Can we get that going? That'd be dope as hell. Make sure you guys subscribe to YouTube.com slash chat sports TV. All right, Nike, what we got? Oh, okay, this is a fun segment. Last week I said, ask me anything. I think one of the things that I, uh, that I love, I'll say, that I can do here on the show, and one of the reasons why my name is Mitchell Wren 365 because I try to keep it real 365 days a year. So I wanted to know from you guys, ask me anything, and I will answer it with 100% honesty, okay? So if you want to know something about me, now's your chance. First off, Nike Eli, no picture, so I gave you one on Google. Go figure. That's what's going to come up, a picture of Eli Manning's Nike jersey. Be honest with us, brother. How long you plan on remaining a Raiders news broadcaster for us? I see opportunity for Mitch. But I would love for this guy to stay giving us the Raiders news. Well, Nike Eli, as long as people keep betting on Bet DSI, my show can continue to run. So if you're kind of worried that my show is going to get canceled, go to chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code Raiders120. Put some money down because as long as y'all are betting on Bet DSI, the Raiders report's not going anywhere. As soon as it stops, I'm gone. So words of, word of advice. Ask Mitchell anything. Question number two, Jerome. Had Bo Jackson never gotten injured, what records would he have set? I think in terms of greatest athletes ever, when I listen to like my dad, when I listen to some other older people who I respect their opinion, they say Bo Jackson's the greatest athlete of all time. And when you can get drafted in the MLB and play professional football, that speaks volumes. Plus, the dude, again, freak athlete running down the sideline. I don't know if he would ever broke Emmett Smith's records because you're putting up 18,000 rushing yards. But uh, Bo Jackson, I think, would definitely go down as one of the best running backs of all time. John Van Norman, do you believe man has been to the moon? And this is interesting considering I think your picture is a moon. And if you guys want to see a picture of a full moon, give me a follow at Mitchell Ren 365 and hook you up. But do I believe man has ever been to the moon? Yes. I, uh, I am a believer that man has been to the moon 100%. Uh, but again, it's a good question, and I appreciate the interaction. If you guys want to ask me anything, I want to see you in the comment section below. Make sure you guys use hashtag Raiders. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.